All right, hey guys, this is Bull and Kool Aid. This is part two of our survival world show. I mean, uh, showing off our survival world, whatever. Uh, once hardcore and J Balance. And let's see, I'm gonna show you. Hey, what's up? Yeah. Jay, did you say hi? Nope. It didn't come through. All right. Well, let me show you this while he's doing his thing, but this used to be our XP farm. Except it turned out that it didn't work as an XP farm, even though we had water down there. They would just fall to their death. Because they fell too far. And I will take you out there in a little bit after we get back upstairs and show you where the actual mob spawner is. But, it became a loot collection point, but then we weren't even getting that much loot. Which really, it would be kind of nice to have a loot collection point just to get gunpowder or black powder or whatever they call it on here but anyway we can work on that later and these are the ways to our different mines a lot of this is a mine through I had to actually be putting blocks down but uh it was still fun we got cleared out pretty much and what I'll do is well actually yeah we'll just It's a really fast, usually ride. You see, we're already coming up. And depot, our minecart depot. And this is my staircase V, which I love. This is a death drop. You do not want to fall down there. Because that's where we just were. And basically, I mined all this out for no real reason. Like, there was no no need to do it. But, I just thought it would look cool. And it does. It kind of looks awesome. Same thing I did here. This was just a normal hallway until I just started digging down. Uh, I was watching... Oh, I was the great and powerful while I did all this, and I uh, still say that's a great movie, but I was just doing it and not really thinking about nothing. And this is the mob spawner up there, same as any mob spawner you've ever seen. It's a three wide water channel. Four, there's four different three wide water channels taking it to the middle, and I'm not really sure where the where it ends up now. I think there's a spot over here that you can go into it from. Yeah, yeah, right down there. Oh, yeah. But the problem that we had is where they were, like I said before, where they were going, they were just dying. And now it just, it's just not. I was busy lighting up all the grounds underneath, and then that's when we stumbled across that skeleton farm, our skeleton spawner. And so we came in and just. Now that's one we use, and you know, there's a lot of light coming from in there. I wonder if that's why we don't have any. Like, there's a torch here. There's light coming down from the mob spawner. Oh, never mind. That's just one torch. Okay. So I'm not really sure. It was just because we have to be in a certain distance, and we have to get rid of all the lights. Every, I mean put lights down everywhere but for whatever reason it doesn't really work that well let's see oh, there it is I don't know what I was thinking about I couldn't figure out what I was supposed to be putting back up but there you go so that's that mob spawner Eventually, you might get everything so lit up that it actually kicks them out at a good rate, so you can actually collect black, white powder and gunpowder and all that stuff, whatever. We'll run back in the house real quick, and I will show you one last thing, and that's the huge deal we opened up. Here it is. 
Basically, you couldn't really see anything because the minecart was going so fast, but right over here, this was where I started out when I was trying to just mine obsidian, and we had the water coming down right here, which is gone right now, but there was like a little waterfall and you could ride it down, and then once I was at the bottom, I would take out some buckets of water and just pour them on the obsidian, and as you mine the obsidian, there's a layer of lava that's still under it so as you mine the obsidian on top the water would flow over the lava source blocks and then they would become more obsidian so it was like constantly new obsidian right there and we were mobbing and, and another thing that we had down here was it was spawning, spawning slimes at first I don't really see any slimes there now but it might well they don't matter if it lights up so I'm not really sure where they are but they might be around the corner or something. But as you can see, it's really, really dark in here. You can't really see what I'm trying to show, so it needs to be lit up. And that, and this is what I'm talking about when I say there's probably a reason that our mob spawner isn't working very well. All that is going to need to be lit up, and that's that's a difficult chore in survival mode. I mean, if this was creative, we could just run, fly through there, just throwing torches all over the place. But in creative, it's a little bit of a job. So alright, so I've babbled on for another six and a half minutes. You guys have anything y'all want to talk about or show off that I haven't shown this time? I think that will cover it pretty much. Alright, so what I'll do is I'll run around this wall right here. So that's another exit out of my home and, and I have two exits. And that's not even really my home, I'm still calling it that but for right now, but I understand that it's going to be just a <laughs> This flesh. Um. So yeah, that's that's the. Hey, wait a minute. What what happened over here? Uh, I think Jay got rid of it. Oh. Uh, well, there was this big house that was in the process of being built there, and I was going to show it off again. But I'll tell you what, we can watch this beautiful sunrise, and. You know what, actually, did we show the, the spawn area last time? I still have two minutes. Let me see if I can walk over there in two minutes. While we enjoy the sunrise together. Yeah, I'm here. So, this is the primary, like, if you jump into our game, if you come in and you want to join us, you're going to spawn here with no permissions. Oh wow, this gate was just left out. The door right. open. <laughs> see, you can see the rules. No griefing, ask mod for tools, which we have plenty of. No stealing. I mean, that's going to be more relevant later on, but for right now, we just kind of all share and share alike. I mean, I wouldn't say go into, our, go into here and empty all the iron into your pockets and then leave the game. I mean, that's kind of a bitchy thing to do, but... And then ask before building. And the main thing for that is the same thing I showed you with the tavern. If you go in and you decide, you know what, I'm building my house right here. Uh, it's going to get repurposed. I mean, I'm one of the moderators here. I, I just, I started this world and my house is already repurposed into a, what, it was going to be a tavern. No, he was going to make it a bakery. He was going to make my house a fucking bakery. But now it's going to be a damn minecart transit spot. So, it's whatever. Nobody's safe. Nobody's safe in this world. Build what you want to, but ask before you build because you could end up living inside of a, a depot station. And this says, welcome to, hmm, well, welcome to Hardcore 83's server, send message for privileges. And the only problem, like, you might have, like, make sure when you come on that we're all playing, like, jump in the party, talk to us. Because sometimes hardcore will just be uh, AFC away from controller. And we'll all be in here working. And for some reason, Minecraft doesn't let mods give permissions. Only the host can. So even if I'm in here playing, or I'm not sure if Jay's a mod, I think he might be. But we won't be able to help you out anyway. We'll just go over there and laugh at you while you're trapped inside the little gate. Make it sound like a wonderful place. The truth is, we will let you out of the gate and you can walk around. And he's usually only gone for like 15 minutes, so 
He'll come out and help you out. But yeah, I mean, you can see we've done a lot of build. What is this? Wow, I did not see this. Oh wait, that's because you just built this thing. Twerk it, Jay. Twerk it. Alright, so yeah. There you go. So now we now we have our first nether portal in this world. In the middle of the cow pasture. Awesome. But alright, well listen, uh We have nothing. We're we're a little over ten minutes. So we will see you guys later. Oh, Jay was just about to be gone too. Oh, that would have been a rough, a rough stay over there in the nether. Uh -huh. Look, he's so sad. Oh, he's so sad. Hey, you picked it up. That's fantastic. Sorry, guys. Uh, like I said, hit, hit one of us up, hit any of us up, and come in here and have a good time. And for Mander, if you're watching this, because I know you're a creeping creeper. I'll just throw these out for you. Uh, um, this is your boy, Bowling Kool Aid, and uh, I'm signing out. Say bye to everybody, guys. Later. Uh, peace out.